Hello, I'm Dr. Brian Drake. Welcome to the premiere episode of Dr. Brian Drake Presents Fun with Stamps. Over the next 52 weeks, we'll be taking a look at the fantastic and exciting world of philately. Hang on, Dr. B. What's philately? Philately is the study of collecting stamps. Cool. I think I just learned something. Did you have fun while doing it? Sure. Okay, so that was a fun intro. It has been way too long since I've done one of those fun intros, especially with a guest star there. Let me know in the comments below if you know what that's from and what it's a rip on, a riff on. So uh, that is one of our favorite shows, actually. But today we're not talking about that show or flags for that matter. We're taking a look at stamps, collecting stamps, philately. I'm an A philatelist. That's the famous debate line. Anyway. I'm not an a philatelist actually, so just say no. But anyway, this is Penny Black. This is all about collecting stamps. Yes, that riveting hobby of collecting stamps. Albeit, I'm not gonna lie. What, what are you doing? Scram. You got popped out over your face. Now, Penny Black is a game all about collecting stamps. Yes, I know that sounds mundane, but let's be honest, some of my favorite games are the mundane ones. I love farming. I've never farmed in my life. I love collecting resources. Well, I guess I do go to the grocery store, but the mundane tasks are some of my favorite games of all time. Food chain magnet, as mundane as it gets, right? But Penny Black is a tile laying game all about laying tiles out to score points as in collecting stamps. Now, let's take a look at the overview, then we're gonna come back and talk final thoughts right now. Hey, before we go any further, do not forget to check out and get your pre-order in now for the group playing shirt. We just got the 8-Bit Tom shirt out, and boy, they look great. I'm very excited about those. People are already having those and wearing them. So get your pre-orders in now. Let's get on to the review. All right, so this is Penny Black. Yes, you hear that? Those are stamps. Not real stamps. They're plastic stamps, and they look amazing. I just want to pull out some of these here because the components in this game are tremendous. Look at the purple ones, they're all themed. You've got travel, you've got these like kind of futuristic ones for purple, you've got birds, you got travel places, you've got animals, exotic animals, plus you have the illustrious Penny Black. Now let me go ahead and mention this here. This scores differently than any of the other cards. Everybody will get this amazing stamp album here, and my gosh, the quality of this is awesome. It's inlaid, you've got these spots here. Now when you take a stamp and put it on your stamp album, you can start by either covering a square that's on here or building adjacent to something else. When you cover a star, you're gonna get stars to which you can spend them to use for star bonuses, which would be things like this. Take swap a stamp, unstick a stamp, draw a stamp, buy a penny black. First player marker is in fact a wonderful hourglass or magnifying glass. Now, look at this, the round tracker. It's an actual stamp, like you could put ink on that and stamp it if you wanted to. I wouldn't do that, but you could. Now what you're going to do is you're going to lay out three stamps per one of these little folios here. Now, depending on player count, there'll be more of these. Usually it's one more than the amount of players. So once they're out there, you'll then choose one of these uh, one of these tiles here. You'll take all the stamps over and you're going to put them in your, your stamp album trying to score. Now you're going to take a white scoring card and a black scoring card for both sides of your stamp album. These are things like each set of five color, same color stamps, five points. Each set of two orange stamps are three, are three points. Each set of two one cent green stamps are three points. A lot of different variations like that. Now the black ones are gonna be typically things like no stamps touching the edge of the score. Uh, each penny black scores an additional point. Each page, uh, each page edge fully covered with stamp scores three. So different ways of scoring. You'll have a black one and a white one on both sides. So you're gonna be playing until round 10. You'll score points, and the person with the most points wins the game. Now, penny black score a little bit differently. In your folio, when you have a penny black in there, whatever they are adjacent to, the color that they are most uh, that is most adjacent to them, so in this case, let's say it's pink, each stamp will then get two points per stamp around it. So that's a lot of points. So that'd be four points right there, whereas you would get more points if you had more around. I think the max you can get with that is 10 based on the stamp. So that's how you play penny black. So let me just say first and foremost, as we do in reviews, we start with art, 
and that's kind of all components and everything. Art design, how those components show you what to do, and then gameplay. First and foremost, this game looks amazing. The price I paid for this game absolutely belies how amazing the quality of the components are. The plastic stamps, they're very nice tiles. They're all really awesome looking art on them. They look like classic stamps, especially the red transportation ones. Those just look amazing to me. So the game, uh, plus the little rubber stamp, plus the little, you know, the journals that you're putting your stamps in. Everything about this game looks amazing. The only thing I'll ding it on production-wise is the cards are very thin. It feels almost like, um, like a very mass market game. Now granted, I picked this up at a mass market shop, but everything else feels almost like it was a Kickstarter. Like some of the components in this feel so nice, like the tiles and all that. But as far as art design, well, there's not a ton of symbols because everything else is pretty much explained on the card. The only symbol would be if you cover this, you take this and your stars do these. So those are really explained in the star cards. So gameplay, how does the game play? Well, we've played this multiple times in an airport, albeit, uh, and really, really like this game. Like, this might be my favorite tile lane game. I know I'm jumping to the end of the review right now. But as far as the mechanics, I love the, the Azul-esque nature of take this disc of tiles and you have to use all those tiles. But what I love is you can put them on your left side or you can put them on your right side. The restrictions of building are cover these purple squares or connect to something you've already built. So sometimes you get in a game like Azul or some of the other ones where you have to, or not really Azul, but some games where you have to build adjacent and you get stuck. This one gives you multiple options because you can either cover the purple disc on or the purple squares on either side or you can connect to something that's already been there. To me, that variability and flexibility is so nice. Now, so I love that flexibility. Now, also gameplay-wise, got another run-in right here. I have here. a run-in. Um, my favorite. It's part. the Warriors music. Sorry. I thought we liked Kingdom now. We do. Yeah, it's Cody. It's Cody Rhodes music. Adrenaline. Anyway, anyway. so Demonetized. what I really like about the game is he just talked about you can build in two spaces because it's not adjacent, but you also have two options. You have one side, or sorry, left side or right yes. side. And when you pull the tiles, your three tiles. Sorry, stamps. When you pull your three stamps. stamps. They don't stick, though. I've tried licking them. He did. Um, but when you try sticking them, nope, because you didn't actually lick the stamps. <laughs> <laughs> They're plastic, folks. Don't lick the stamps, for goodness sakes. Okay, anyway. So you pull your three stamps. You do not have to put them on side left. Or side right, for that matter. <laughs> on the left side. You right. can put two on the left, one on the right, three on the right, none on the left. Yes. You can do whichever you like, and that's what I really like about it. Plus, on that note, while you're still here, I like the fact that you pick two different scoring cards per side, and you, you, may, t you may take a thing of tiles where you go, okay, crud, I really need to put this over here because it fits here, but I also need to put it over here, and sometimes you're torn, and then other times you go, well, that's just a set of square tiles, and I literally have a scoring card that says don't have any square tiles. He actually has beaten me every time we've played this, so like these strategy points are good points that I'm going to take into consideration next time I try this. But there are little stars that you cover and you get, and what I like about this that's different than other games mm -hmm. is you can spin those stars to maybe unstick a stamp that yes. you did not lick and put on the board. Didn't lick it. Because they're like pre-sealed. Yeah, well, and the other thing too with that is you can combo that. You can spend all four of your stars in one turn, just unstick four and fix a turn. Like I did that one time. I, I fixed an entire thing where I didn't read my scoring card right and still won. But then again, anytime we play games where I win it first, there's a peak, right? I hit this peak of, of winning and I never win again after a certain point. And we're getting close to that point where You're I will never. play it again, right? Yeah, I'll never win this again. So, but... Um, all in all, the game looks amazing. This is one of the best productions. I, I would have saved this for a roundup, except I wanted to talk about how good the production quality is of this game. She's out. Production quality is amazing. The gameplay is super simple. It's so easy to teach this game. And the strategies are seemingly endless because of all the different card combinations left and right, right? So at the end of the day, I love this game. This is an eight and a half out of 10 for me. I really, really think this is one of the best tile laying games. There's just people running around all over my house. I don't understand this, but love this game. Go get it right now. I got it on a very high percentage off at uh, the store the other day. And I was just thinking, oh, this looks cool, right? But now I 100% recommend this game this will be a guaranteed go-to uh, intro game to people like hey oh you've played those games well, why don't we try this one right this is the game you can teach right before you play sagrado or even azul you know some of the higher level azuls love penny black it's permanently staying in our collection like a good stamp would that was a good closing line anyway i'm brian drake dr brian drake and you are there and i am here and i will see you soon next time i'm botching this completely